fabric rose you need a piece of fabric 13 inches long and three and a half inches wide and then you fold it lengthways in half I would iron it first <laughs> and then we're going to tuck in the end here and we're going to put gather threads at the open end that means the widest stitch on your sewing machine then grab the top threads and pull until you get a really nice gather. The tighter that is, the um, more dense the flower will be. And of course you could make it longer and wider to get a bigger flower. Then you start rolling from the front, keeping your rows nice and even on the folded edge. And when you get to the end, you again tack the rough edge in. Use the gather threads to wrap around and secure your rows. That wasn't difficult, was it? It's really, really easy and so quick. I love it. So now you just have to secure all this. So thread up a needle and thread, double thread, not in the end, and go all the way through. Now you can cut off the excess. And I'm going to wrap around again just so make sure that it really stays in place and then I'm just using my needle to go through and through about five or six times the secure the better really open out my little flower and it's ready to go on a dress of course it doesn't have to be anything bridal I've used stripy fabric for my lily dress and the top is made in linen and that's great too you can also use chiffon or you can use satin up to you the options are endless so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye